Hi everyone, my name is Robin Lewis, and in this video I'm going to show you how I made this stool out of what I'm calling a Riftsorn LVL. This is the timber I'm going to be using for it. This is a 60 millimeter by 360 millimeter LVL. You can see it's made up of these individual strands, and that's what I'm keen to show off. So I'll bring you around to the side and I want to show you how I'm going to make these cuts. That's the shape that I'm going to be pulling out of the board, and I need to make a number of these working my way along. The first thing I did was cut it down to a rough size. This chunk of wood is pretty heavy, so I wasn't confident putting it onto the bandsaw yet. Speaking of cutting, you'll also notice that in almost every shot, I'm wearing a respirator when I'm cutting or sanding. This timber was heavily treated, particularly for termites. So cutting it, not only was I releasing wood dust into the air, but also chemicals. Even with the respirator, the smell from the treatment was really intense. So often I would make a few cuts, open up the workshop, put on a fan and get some air moving and then get back to it. Back to the milling, you can see I'm using a combination of my band saw and my jointer. If you had a table saw, this would be a lot easier, but I don't have one. But having said that, the big 90 mil blade on my band saw does rip cuts really well. So there wasn't too much cleanup required. So there was a bit of thicknessing to do and then it was all done. This was my first look at the timber in regards to those vertical lines and it was at this point that I started to get really excited about how this was going to turn out. All right, next up I'm going to be cutting a compound angle on this. I'm going to be cutting 10 degrees in this direction as well as 10 degrees in this direction. So it's, it's two directions at once. Now what I'm going to do to make sure that this is correct is use this. It's just an angle finder. So I'll set this to, no, did I say 10? No, I said five degrees. You're right, she's ready to go. Where this rail meets the two legs, I'm going to be doing a half lap join. This will be the inside of the legs, so the where this crosses, the leg will be hidden, but you'll be able to see this nice detail on this side of the leg. Hey everyone, I just wanna take a quick break to say, firstly, if you're watching this video, thank you very much. I really do appreciate the support. And with that in mind, I would like to believe that you're interested in the projects that I'm working on and what's going on in the shop. With that said, I wanna use this shop stool project to promote the shop stool podcast, which is a podcast I run with uh, Joey Chalk from King Post Timberworks and Brian Cush from Sawdust Bureau. We have a fortnightly podcast where we talk about what's going on in our shop, but more importantly, we interview a lot of very high level woodworkers. Just to mention a few, we've had Duncan Muting, Damien Wright, Arthur Seigneur. These are all top level woodworkers in our community. We bring them onto the show to talk about their process, how they work and, and what they're all about. So if you're interested in another woodworking podcast, but one that's focused on Australian and Kiwi wood, woodworkers, etc. then I'll have links down below to the shop store podcast. You can go over there and check it out. All right, back to the project. All right. Glue up time, I've got my glue, mallet, and my angle finder set to the correct angle. I'm gonna start by gluing up the legs in two halves. Once these are dry, I'll then bring all four together with the other rails. One of the cool things about half lap joints is that they are self aligning, particularly if you've cut them properly. So glue ups like this are pretty stress free because there's no checking for square or making sure everything's right. That join is gonna tighten everything up and line it up. <laughs> That is unbelievably square. <laughs> I was not expecting that. This was the second piece of leftover LVL and this is gonna make up the seat. I cleaned this up to make it into a square and in terms of rounding and shaping, this was function over form. I just wanted this to be the most comfortable seat you could sit on. I also created these pockets for the legs to sit into. This is just to give it a bit of mechanical advantage to stop the, the tops of the legs from moving outwards or potentially inwards. But it was also to help with the glue up process later on. Thank you. 
Here I'm drilling a hole through the bottom of the seat all the way through. That then is going to give me a reference on the top of the seat where I can use a spade bit later on, but we'll get to that. Now you may be saying to yourself, hang on, these legs are on a five degree angle. You can't drill straight down because you're going to come out the side of the leg. But that five degree angle is so slight that I could drill down a fair way into that leg at 90 degrees before it even got close to the side. This is some leftover high density rubber that I had lying around the shop. It's not the most elegant solution in the world, let's be honest, but it does work. This would give me a bit of cushioning when I'm sitting on the stool, but it also stops those wooden feet from splitting as I'm dragging the stool around the shop. And then my go-to water-based polyurethane is this flooring version. It works well and dries very hard. I did two coats on the legs and four on the top. The goal here was to give it a bit of protection, but mainly it was to trap those chemicals and that smell within so that it will off-gas a bit slower. There it is, the half lap roof sawn LVL stool. <laughs> I'm gonna be using this in the workshop going forward and I'm really stoked with how it's turned out. If you like this video and wanna see more like it, I've got tons on my channel. And if you wanna stay up to date with what I'm doing, that subscribe button will get you there. So thanks again, take care everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.